Hey, what's going on? This is a Mario Baseball tier list. I figured I'd do it uh, with a video format so that I could kind of tell you some of my context on why I put the picks where I did. First off, the start of any good tier list video has got to have little mini tier lists. And, and don't worry, the tier lists are ordered in a level of importance, meaning that there are, this is a tier list, tier list video about a tier list. Anyway, power hitting is the most important aspect of the game. I don't call it a stat because the batting stat doesn't necessarily mean power hitting, so this is, a, this is an aspect. And if we're talking about aspect, Bowser is the greatest power hitter of mankind. The, he's got like a two-foot brick that if it touches the ball, it just gets blasted up right field. You, I've seen Bowser like juice his charge for a sick 30 second interval and then he still just beefs it over and then you know follow boovrang bro pete kb uh wario and dk you know from from watching the videos playing the game yourself even you might think they're uh they're more single hitter categories because of like how good their single hit is just because they have a good single hit doesn't mean they can't power hit. I think if they had a bad single hit, you would see a lot more people charge with them, obviously. But you'd also see a lot more people get home runs with them. And it might change your opinion on them. Still not good power hitter as Peter or uh, King Boo, though. Next most important attribute is the slap singles. And there's a lot of characters that can hit slap singles. And uh, these characters aren't even that much above those guys. It's just that... Uh, you know, at, at that point, it gets so muddy and uh, opinionated because it's hard to get exact statistics on stuff like trajectory and ball speed that these guys are the only guys you're going to see where uh, if you ask someone who's the best single hitters in the game, uh, I think you're, you'll be hard-pressed to get an answer besides any of these four guys. They're, they're all really good. Uh, you may be wondering why is Toadsworth on here because I'm, I'd give you that. I think Toadsworth is really good. Boo's better, obviously. I put him above on the list, but this is, in my opinion and experience, this is how we've we've made the slap singles tier list. This this is like the A tier of slap singles, and everyone else is in B tier with a couple C tiers. Star hits. This this is the special stuff, the big spice. This is the bones of the Mario baseball. The reason we have asterisk here is because the asterisk characters have good single hits anyway, so the star hit gets a little bit less useful. However, you look at Mario, he's high on the list, so maybe a star hit is kind of useful. However, if you're picking Mario as a captain, you're a goonhead, because he doesn't do anything in the field, he's a loser. So anyway, Mario's star hit always costs two. So it's honestly, it's more effective, in my opinion, to use a single hit in almost every scenario. If you're in a scenario where you need one point to win, Mario star hit, I, I'd rather have pretty much no one else up at the plate besides maybe Bowser. Birdo, so so many triples, so many doubles on this egg, you know? It, it gets out sometimes. People love to catch one of Birdo's balls when it flies directly into the face of the second baseman and say, ha-ha, Birdo bad. Ha-ha, Birdo not bad. Egg ball get a lot of, it devastates a lot of games. I've seen egg ball win games, and it only costs one star because Birdo's always your captain. And you don't feel that bad making Birdo your captain because Birdo just uh, scoops the ball in the field too. Birdo's a, uh, a two-piece, and we'll get to that when we get to her on the tier list. Shortstop second baseman. This is a really important position. In my opinion, it's the only fielding position that actually matters, and... You'll notice, Birdo and Yoshi, they got the suck. They can cover a lot of ground, and more importantly, they can cover those low star hits, such as we had with uh, Magic Koopa, Green Paratroopa, and Green Bones. Uh, I think those are the only guys in the game that do that. Uh, next up, DK and Wario. They're kind of big, so they catch a lot of balls similar to suction, except uh, they actually have to, to go out for them, but they're, they're big. They get balls. Magic Koopa, his magic catch kind of makes him pseudo big, you know? His his magic range is almost like being as big as DK, or maybe even a little bit bigger, but he just doesn't have the quick arm that DK and Wario have, so he's a little bit lower. Daisy has sliding catch and quick throw. I think people are sleeping on Daisy. She's one of the better characters in the game, but uh, not, not that much better. We'll see her a little bit later in the tier list, if you catch my meaning, and... Uh, Green Drybones, probably the worst out of this bunch for sure, but 
he's he's still relevant to know about, so I put him on the list, and he's relevant to know about because he has a good star hit, so you might be picking him anyway. And if your opponent just scoops up Yoshi Birdo, DK, and then leaves you with Wario and Magikoopa, uh, Daisy might be a better choice for Magikoopa's position, but I wouldn't draft Daisy anyway in that scenario. I'm sorry, I'm talking about Green Bones, not Daisy. If your opponent drafts Yoshi Bird, ODK, Wario, and like Magic Koopa, and you're like, oh, geez. Green Bones is probably going to be on your team anyway if he's drafting that many Goobers. Uh, batting Goobers wise, that is. Magic Koopa's not exactly bad. Anyway, next list uh, pitching. This is the bottom of the tier list list. It, it's not an important stat. I've done some research on pitching recently. I found that speed and curvability are pretty much an inverse on the charts, and uh, frankly, there's not much difference between any of the characters, even with that factored in. I, I had to convince myself that they weren't all the same by scouring my data. Um, and, I, you know, uh, that little thing at the bottom there, not everyone can curve the ball. Heavy characters like DK and uh, Bowser... If you charge with them a little bit, they can't curve. Those are characters that you do not want to pitch with. They are bad pitchers. Uh, however, your team is, I think, guaranteed to have a character that can curve the ball on a charge. So don't worry about that. Bowser. He's the best character in the game, by far. His bat is just too nuts. It causes him to get walked all the time. And now he's the best singles hitter in the game. And all of a sudden, you put a star hitter behind Bowser. You have a guy at third with... No outs, and then you just sack fly, sack bunt, get him in. All of a sudden, now he's the the power hungry, guaranteed home run hitter. Even though you walked him, and all it cost you was an out. So if you put Bowser at the front of your lineup, not only is he batting the most often out of anyone on your team because of how loops work, he's also the the greatest singleton hitter. That's where you want him. And then you could follow him up with another power hitter to guarantee that he comes home. He, he's kind of nuts whether you walk him or not. I, I think, uh, you know, there used to be some, some rumblings. Maybe Birdo's the best in the game. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's DK. I, that, that's, I, I think it, one, once you realize what you're up against here, I don't think there's any argument for Bowser not being the best. Birdo just does two things insanely well. The field, the suction absorbs so many balls countless balls in my career just stolen by that nose the egg ball so many games in my career just stolen by that egg bird you got speaking of birdo or speaking of bowser you put some guy on base any any old goober that can hit a ball like shy guy or something then all of a sudden birdo hits a triple and shy guy goes home all of a sudden you have an open game for just one star where, where Bowser cost you an out and was very consistent. Birdo's a little bit less consistent. You know, egg ball gets out sometimes. Uh, costs only one star. Doesn't cost an out. How about that? Bro. Now, now you, <laughs> I wrote a dissertation on the previous two characters. Sometimes, one stat's all you need. I mean, this this guy just... He hits the ball and, and home runs in baseball or how you get points. Not much else to say there. This guy does the same thing as Boomerang Bro, except a little bit worse. And also, he can deny the run from second to first. Or sorry, first to second. This guy is just PD hitting level, but doesn't do the the first to second steal deny thing. And no one really cares. He's a power hitter. Sweet. <laughs> Yoshi. A better fielder than Birdo. And I was raving about Birdo's fielding. However... His, his egg ball, nowhere near as good as weird ball. And his normal bat, pretty bad too. Birdo's normal bat ain't great, but you're never using Birdo's normal bat. You're going to be doing the star hit with Birdo every time. Or otherwise, you did something about the game wrong. Uh, no one else's star hit is going to be worth having no stars for Birdo. Always save a star for Birdo. Uh, DK. Some people think he's really good. I think he's pretty good. <laughs> he's He's got a sick singles bat, gets a single very consistently. He's also got a decent home run in a pinch. If you know you need a home run and the next guy up behind DK is not that good at pushing DK home, 
you might go for that charge swing and you just might get it. His star hit, I don't think it's ever worth two stars, and frankly, I think it's barely worth one star. It's uh, it's honestly, it's not even as good as Magic Koopa's. Banana Ball, you have a lot of time to react to it, and a lot of characters can get there. It's, uh, it's a very low ball, too, so even if it does hit the ground like you want it to, DK's only getting a single. He's not that fast. Maybe if you steal with it, because you can be more confident than with a regular hit that his banana ball is going to land, you can push the guy who's on first to third or second to home, uh, maybe. Uh, but the only problem with that is his single hit is so good anyway. If you do the steal and then do a single hit, that might just happen anyway. I think it's uh, his star hit is overrated by some people. I, I do not like his star hit. Wario. Pretty much the same thing as DK, except his, his star hit's also kind of stinky, you know? You stand in the middle of the ball, and a lot of characters, not just the ones with suction, can just uh, absolutely deny it. It works, uh, some people say it works 50% of the time. Uh, I say it works no greater than 50% of the time, because sometimes half the ball is sidling on the foul zone, so you just catch the fair one. Sometimes you got a guy like Toadette in the outfield, scoops the ball. Pretty sure even characters like, like Noki can scoop the ball. Just not a great star hit, not worth using. His other attributes are pretty good, just like DK. Uh, Should have mentioned that about DK. I ragged on a star hit a lot. He's not a bad character. DK is great. I pick him early very frequently when I'm trying to go for the scoop second baseman shortstop strats. Something I should have mentioned before about the second baseman and shortstops. There's not that many of them in the game, so you might think scooping them is a relevant strategy. But when you factor in Daisy and Green Dry Bones as viable second baseman shortstops, uh, and you factor in the fact that every team only needs two of them, so by by taking characters like Magic Koopa and uh, you know all the second baseman shortstops, and then suddenly they're not playing that position, and your opponent still has decent short base uh, short base second base shortstops. It's just not uh, not the greatest strategy I would recommend, but uh, it might work if your opponent doesn't know who to put there in replacement for the standard big five. Boo. Such a good single hit. I, I want to call it a double hit. I mean, like, it just curves into the foul zone, and then your guy got to run for it. And if your opponent doesn't have a good guy in right or left field, they're just uh, they're done for. Boo gets the double, and then... It's, it's easy to push him home if he's uh, early on your lineup. You you put Bowser and Boo in the same part of the lineup, you're going to be racking up a lot of points whenever you get to that part. Magikoopa, great star hit. Suction, I already talked about how his suction makes him uh, kind of, you know, pseudo big. Toadsworth has super catch, meaning he'll he'll never bobble the ball. It's a small bonus, not really something you, can, you should consider when putting him somewhere because it happens anywhere but uh he just so happens to be good in the outfield because his legs are better than your standard heavy and uh he's not very big and he he can he doesn't do much else the outfield is kind of the bench but his bat's good so that's why he's number 11 green paratroopa can hit star hits like magic koopa and can sometimes get that big old uh Catch, and I meant to say right field here. Anytime I say left field, I'm talking about right field because left field is is probably the least relevant position. Uh, Green Bone got the star hit and can also play the uh, the second base shortstop position. Uh, probably the worst second base shortstop among the seven that I mentioned and among the seven you'll likely to ever see. Uh, but I think you'll you'll probably see Daisy less than this guy despite her being better. Because this guy is a better bat than Daisy, almost certainly. Which is also why he's higher on the tier list. While Luigi, his bat is okay. You know, normal, maybe slightly below par bat. And uh, and he's the best pitcher. And I don't like pitching very much. Uh, but, you know, when you're the best, it's like, okay, I'll, I'll consider you. And I'll factor that in a little bit on your tier list placement. Here in 14, it's a little bit high. You know, don't... Don't uh don't get too ahead of yourself, while Luigi fans. Toadette is on the other hand. I like Toadette very much. She she's fast and uh, you know the outfield's only the bench if you got goobers there. Anyone can catch a ray. You know the outfield balls that you're supposed to catch. Toadette can sometimes get the one that uh you know. 
goes really far in the foul. Maybe not a boo ball, but maybe, you know, a, a big old Pianta stinker in right, right foul zone. Monty Mole, very interesting character. Because, like, when you put him on the mound and then the pitcher goes whoosh and throws the ball, or sorry, the, uh, you know, someone steals a base, you run him down, suddenly Monty is running to that base, then you throw the ball to where the runner's going, runner's forced to come back, then you throw the ball to Monty, it's over, they're dead. And when Monty's on the mound, he can do that from any pickle base. So your opponent just, like, can't get in between the bases or else they lose. Uh... And, you know, say, same thing with Goomba, except I like his bat a little bit less. Uh, you know, I I don't really care much for his actual pitching arm, but I, I'd still put him on the mound if I had him on my team. Uh, the bat's just not great, so I don't think it's... Uh, I, don't, I don't think these guys... They're not a necessary pitcher or anything, but I, I honestly... If they were on my team, I'd rather have them on the mound than Waluigi or Boo nowadays. Daisy. Pretty good in the second shortstop whatever position. And uh, the bat is okay. Nooki, good outfielder. Outfielder's the bench. Sorry, Bob. Your bat, not great. Toad, my man. Mario, you can kind of play any position, you know? When you, when you pick Mario, you're not going to be thinking, I shouldn't have picked Mario that game. You're going to be thinking... I wish I had this guy. And if you had to pick a guy to go, it's probably Mario. If if your team is drafted well. Uh but you know, if if you there are some times when I only need one point and I need a guy with a consistent hit, I think you're gonna find Mario's star hit is the most consistent on base method in the game besides uh Bowser existing. Next up is Luigi. He kind of stinks. Uh, I, I think him being right below Mario is a little bit of a, a tricky scenario. Because I don't think there's anyone in between them. But I think the gap between Mario and Luigi is a little bit bigger than the gap between most characters. Uh, perhaps the biggest between... Nah, you know, the guys up there. Yeah, whatever. Bowser Jr. He's pretty okay. You know, if, if you notice that your opponent has no good characters to... To put in the right field, which, you know, again, uh, Andrew, I hate the outfield Calvary's talking about having bad outfielders. It's a time to do something about it. It actually matters. Like, uh, you see Toadette is on their team. Don't pick Bowser Jr. You see their team is full of power hitters, and then, like, they also put Shy Guy and Koopa, and then the guy was like, haha, memes, and then he picked the Pink Menace. Bowser Jr. is going to be getting a lot of points because they, they have a stupid guy in right field and Bowser's single hit very frequently hits a deep slap into right field. And if your fielder can't pick up that ball or catch that ball fast enough, Bowser Jr. is going to get on base very consistently. Not as consistently as some of our really good single hitters, but, you know, better than the Goobers. GSG, this guy kills it, bro. I love Green Shy Guy. You know, a lot of people, they, they have their, their little pet characters. Hangji will tell you Dixie Kong's the best. Dennis will tell you Donkey Kong's the best. Uh, the, no, one will t- <laughs> no one will tell you he likes, uh, I don't know, Bowser. And then Lamp likes the Pink Menace. Uh, all those guys are idiots. Me, on the other hand, I know the truth. GSG is trending up. People are going to realize his bet. It's kind of good. It's kind of good. And, you know, synergy with Birdo don't hurt either. Birdo is almost always going to be in the shortstop second base position. And she really likes having a synergy with the first baseman. Because when she scoops a ball that, uh, you know, doesn't get past her but lands before her schnoz can pick it up. Or perhaps goes straight to her so you don't want to deal with the schnoz lag but it's still not an out by catch. She can throw to the first baseman and if she has synergy... Sometimes she gets out she wouldn't have otherwise gotten, such as characters. Uh, Toadette, I find, frequently, if I'm fielding against Toadette, I like having Birdo with Shy Guy on first. Uh, Peach. You know, it's, uh, it's like Daisy, except you trade off uh, sliding catch for pitching ability, which uh, <laughs> is just awful. Very, very bad trade-off. 
Diddy Kong. Oh, I hate you, Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong's bat is like a little, uh, what, are the, what are those things? The, uh, you know, the, the party popper that goes, you know the one where it's, it, like, it like folds out, makes a little noise, very annoying when the kid gets a hand on. It's, uh, it's like one of those, except you like, you slice it in half and then like most of it just, most of the part that you didn't slice in half just fell off. Because it's like rolled up and you sliced it by the roll end. So you just got it. Just got a little, maybe like a, like three centimeter like, thing to deal with. That, that's how big Diddy Kong's bat is. Extremely tiny. Uh, extremely easy to scam this guy on the pitch. And then even when he hits the outside ball, if you have a, a big boy on third base, Diddy Kong will never get a single. Uh, he just stinks. And, and, and outfield is the bench. Paragoomba. I suppose high jump can deny some balls. His bat's not great. This this guy is whatever. He, he doesn't do anything good. Dixie Kong is just Diddy Kong, but bad. <laughs> and Diddy Kong was already bad. Don't tell me she can pitch. No one can pitch. <laughs> uh, thank you. Baby Luigi. The... I don't know what he does. I've never seen anyone pick him, so I kind of just assume he's bad. And the same holds true for Baby Mario. The only reason that uh, Baby Mario is below Baby Luigi is so that they look cool standing back to back on my tier list. Koopa. I've, I've played a couple games with Koopa in my childhood. And every time he hits the ball, it goes straight to the infielder. But it takes its time getting there, so it's a guaranteed out. And uh, if you're lucky, if the fielder is lucky, and the game doesn't consider it an infield fly, you can do that nasty thing that they do in real baseball where they let the ball fall so they can get the double play. It, it's icky having to bat with this guy, but not as icky as having to play with this guy. Oh, the pink menace. You know, sometimes people pick him as a meme. Ooh, he's just really bad. Ooh, I don't like him. His bat is just about as bad as Koopa's, if not worse. He does not hit dingers as a power hitter. His pitch uh, cannot be curved, so don't even think about putting him on the mound. Laser throw, whatever, stupid ability, barely even works for this guy. Um, I, I hate him. Looking at him brings me fear. Anyway, that was the final tier list. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you'll excuse me, I gotta go charge my phone because it's gonna take me a while to read uh, Hong Ji's nine-page dissertation on why I underrate Dixie Kong. Uh, thank you so much for watching.